Adam here at the Digital Gojo showroom. Today we're going to be checking out one of Canon's latest telephoto zoom lenses. Stay tuned. Right over here we have Canon's EF 70-200mm f2.8 LIS version 3. Now the 7200 series lens has been the most popular and versatile lens of Canon's L-series lineup. It's the go-to for professional photographers for its fast constant aperture of f2.8, its quick and responsive autofocus, excellent color rendition and contrast. Uh, now first we're going to do an unboxing and see what Canon provides you with the lens, then we'll get into the overview of the 70-200mm lens. All right, so let's see what Canon provide you with the new 70-200 version 3. And always, the first thing you're going to notice is your warranty card and your instruction manual for your lens. All right, so let's get the lens out of this box. It's packaged really well. It's a very expensive lens, so I want to make sure it gets to you in one piece. So here we have the padded lens case. Uh, this is provided with a lot of the L-series glass, uh, especially the telephoto zooms. Get the strap for the lens case. And here it is, folks, your 70 to 200 F2.8. Let's get it out of the packaging. So with the 70-200 Canon kind of provides you with the bayonet style hood. It's the same ET87 hood that's provided with version 2. Also included with the lens is the tripod collar that rotates. Um, the tripod collar is also removable, um, but it allows you to connect the tripod or monopod directly to the lens. Uh, you also have 77 millimeter filter thread size. Uh, let's take a closer look at the 70-200mm f2.8 from Canon. So how do you improve on an already incredible lens? Well, some photographers went to Canon and they said that version 2 was prone to lens flare when shooting subject matter that's backlit. Um, also, if there were a lot of specular highlights in the frame as well. So Canon has taken that advice um, and the Canon engineers have developed a process to make this lens even better. Let's find out what's new in version 3. Airsphere coating has been applied to the lens. This is going to reduce backlit flaring and ghosting in strong lighting conditions. Also, the super spectra coating, which was on version 2, has been updated on this version 3. Uh, this is going to further reduce internal reflections. Also, a fluorine coat was added to the lens surface in the front and the rear. Uh, this is going to help you when you're going to clean the lens, but it's also going to reduce the chances of smudge, dirt, and moisture from grabbing onto the front of the lens. So if we look beyond the lens coatings that have been updated and applied to this lens, the only thing that you're going to notice different is it, its cosmetic character. Now, this lens is a cooler white tone, uh, so you'll see the difference from version 2 and version 1. Now, the, they chose a cooler white tone to match some of the super telephotos that are being introduced as well. Uh, again, besides that, uh, there really isn't much difference in the lens construction, the weight, the focusing distance, the fact that it's fully weather sealed hasn't changed. Um, its focusing speed hasn't been changed at all. Let's look at some of the other specifications of the lens, especially if you haven't um, been taking a look at this lens. Let's go over some of the detailed specifications of the 70-200 f2.8L IS version 3. This L-series lens is going to feature an aperture range of f2.8 to f32. It has 23 elements in 19 groups with specialized coatings, as I mentioned before, uh, to improve contrast and color fidelity. Uh, it has an 8-blade rounded diaphragm for a beautiful bokeh effect. Uh, it utilizes an ultrasonic ring type motor. This is going to give you fast and precise autofocus that's silent, so it's going to be great for video shooters as well. Um, you have the weather resistant construction. This is going to make it so you can use it in any type of environment. Um, it also has image stabilization, and this image stabilization is going to give you three and a half stops. Uh, there's two different modes on it. One is standard, two is if you're going to be panning with your subject matter. This lens is designed for the full frame format, but remember you can use it on the crop sensor cameras. So if you use it on a camera like the ADD, 
you get an equivalent field of view of 112 to 320 millimeters. It's also compatible with Canon's 1.4 and 2 times teleconverter for some extra versatility and reach. So if you're looking for an extremely versatile, fast telephoto zoom lens, look no further than the Canon EF70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 L IS version 3. If you need more information about this lens, check the links below. Hit us up with a like button if, you, if this video helped you out and subscribe to our channel for more incredible videos on some incredible camera equipment like this. And if you're in the Miami area, come by, say hello at the Digital Go to Showrooms. Adam here, keep on shooting. I'll catch you in the next video, folks.